All right, guys, welcome back to another killer video for today. I know I haven't put a video up in a couple days, and I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> it just kind of goes back to what I was saying the other day about the state of the game. I just get, I just get a little burnt out every once in a while, so it's probably going to be more sporadic from now on. I'm sorry about that, but unfortunately, it's just how the game is right now to me. Uh, but anyways... Uh, I was watching a YouTube video today, uh, there's this YouTuber called Arditha, he puts up a lot of pig gameplay, a lot of nurse gameplay whenever he does upload, and he brought up the point of how hooking ends up taking up a lot of your time as a killer, and how agitation might be a good answer to that, and that's, I think that's part of why I like agitation, so I just kind of wanted to throw it on and see what exactly agitation really can do for me on a killer that I don't really run it on too often, the pig. So we're going to do our first game here with agitation and our second game with all the same perks except I'm going to change out agitation. I don't know what to yet, that's something I'm going to have to think about. And we're basically just going to see how the games compare. Obviously it's not going to be a perfect comparison, but you know, let's get into the build anyway. First of all, of course, we have agitation, so I move faster people on my shoulder, say the best for last because it's great on pig, and then ruin on dying because that's a great combo. And we're using pretty strong pig add-ons with videotape and combat straps. So anyways, guys, let's get straight into the videos. Games. Damn it. Oh, we did get Pale Rose, which, you know, it's not an awful map for pig. This totem is pretty awful. Hopefully it's ruin and that one maybe is undying. Either way, they're both shitty totems, realistically. Oopsie. Let's just take a look at this totem. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not going to have Ruin and Dying for too long here. So I was saying in the intro that obviously this isn't going to be the best analysis of agitation versus not no agitation. Because every single game is different. And that's just kind of how it is. Unfortunately here, I'm going to go ahead and get a hit on this guy even though... Oh, really? Okay, I guess not. Pretty predictable vault there, thankfully. We run to the left. He saw me turn left here. He's gonna run onto my right. Yep. Damn, nice. I thought he might double vault there. So it seems like it might be a bully squad. They did have a couple flashlights in the lobby. So that's always something to keep in mind. They're most likely gonna be playing pretty aggressive into me, which is perfectly fine by me. And perhaps she's actually gonna leave, which is actually gonna let me get the hit here and thanks to combat straps. I actually move a lot quicker. Does she have the window to her left? No, she has a pallet right here. That's fine. Get the pallet out of the way. So I'm just... Wait. What the hell was that? Hmm. The scratch marks lead this way, so I'll go ahead and follow them, because I don't know where anyone else is. I kind of want to go back to pressure the other generator. But I see blood here. She's running to the killer shack. Fuck. Maybe I can force out the killer shack pallet early on. That'd be really nice, actually. Oh, he's back here. I don't care about my save the best for last sex right now. I was only at one anyway. I want to get an injure to keep these people healing, keep them busy, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and come back to the killer shack over here. I can hear someone in there right now. Maybe not inside the killer shack. Where are they? Is that Jen? No, there's someone on that. Is there? No, I'm blind. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my first game in a little bit, so... Get off the generator, get off the generator. Fuck. Smart of the dude to take a hit here. Fortunately, he didn't actually take the hit. He faked like he wanted to, and then he decided not to. Someone just got on the boat. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the David, because I know someone else is right here. She wanted to go for the flashlight save. This is what I meant about uh, understanding when the team's going to be aggressive or not. Deadheart gets rid of that pallet. If not, then I get the hit here. I'm not going to commit to this. I'm going to go over here and, and force this out. David's going to go for the heal. They might be able to pick her up in time. If not, then that's actually really good for me. Because I get a hit here. I'm going to go ahead and come over and make sure I trap her before anything else. Then this might force out the fang in front of me, trying to go for a flash hit save. Right here, right? No more dead hard. They're gonna come in for the pickup right now, which means I'll be able to punish it. I'm actually gonna pick her up right away. They have a flashlight, uh, another one. I'm not worried about it. So, no really had agitation there, but that's perfectly fine. I know more or less where they went off to heal, so I can go ahead and trap her now. 
And I'm just gonna go straight back over here to try and rope the unhook because they're about to come for it right now. Or they might just be healing, actually. That's probably what they're doing. Yeah. Alright. Let's see where that notification was. Oh, they have pebbles. That's what's happening here. Okay, I don't care. I'll drop her. There's no way I'm gonna go for him. Nice. Very good for me there. Nice, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a crouch attack here. Just because I wanna try and get through my stacks. And the videotape lets me get this hit. He's gonna go pick her up. That's fine. I've put in so much pressure. Oh, he didn't even pick her up. Is she right here still? I can't hear her. That's fine. So I have three people with traps on their heads. That thing's gonna try and get hers off before she comes for the pickup. He just picked up the thing behind me. Okay. I didn't hear her nearby. I think they picked her up and ran off immediately. But I just want to double check the area just to be safe. I think she did have Iron Will. I didn't hear her earlier when she was playing around the tree. But thankfully we do find the Felix right here. I hear another thing above me as well to my right. Someone's on the ground below me as well. We know this pallet's already down. She has a window ahead of her, but she doesn't make it. Dead hard would have saved her there. I pick her up. No fear of the flashlight because I just don't think that guy's gonna go for the flashlight save at that angle. It was a really difficult angle to try and go for it. And agitation lets me get the hook a lot quicker. And you can see that I'm just keeping up a ton of pressure right now. That thing's gonna be heading over to that generator or to that billy box. I don't know where she went. That's a pebble to my left, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, though. I think it is, though. <laughs> so, I've kind of lost all my pressure right now. They're going to finish resetting. They don't have to worry about their traps at all. But, I mean, if nothing else, the traps are at least taking up some of their time, you know? Making it so that they can't just be pr pumping out generators right now for free. I hear him to right here. Cool. Someone just heard a generator out there to my left. I think... Are you camping this pallet? No. Someone just heard in this generator, so I'm actually going to drop Chase because he's my obsession. I hear someone injured on my right, so I'm going to force her off and come over here. Did I not hear someone? Yeah, I did. Oh, I thought she was injured. Hmm, maybe I heard wrong. Scratch marks are ahead of her, meaning that there is somebody else out here. She doesn't make anything unless there's a pallet right here. Oop, never mind, I messed up. Live. Live to the left here, yep. Good, that was Ruin. Where did Ruin move to now? Ruin's still in a shitty spot. I'm not gonna put a trap on her yet. These guys really haven't threatened me at all with their flashlight saves, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I've been playing uh, very cocky when it comes to. Uh, Flashlight saves. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go for a play here. I close that generator just to listen for it, but I'm gonna head on back over here for the sun hook because I think it's gonna happen pretty soon. And so far, I've usually been letting these guys get unhooks for free. No. Good read on their part to not come in for it just yet. Someone's on the ship right now, and someone's on the small boat. I'm gonna go for this person on the small boat because I'm pretty sure the guy on the big boat is gonna be the Felix. Did I not just hear his footsteps? Hello? Am I blind? Oh, hello, David. Oh, whoops. That's a mistake. I don't want to chase the Felix anyways. It's my obsession. I'm perfectly fine with forcing out this pallet right now because I'm right next to this unhook. They can't get this unhook for free. So I can actually force the kill on this hook. Which makes it that much more convenient that I, um... That I didn't trap her. Nice. Get the kill there for free. David's injured here. I'm going to chase him because he's my obsession. Vault it. No, there's no window here. <laughs> he just screwed the Felix. That was funny. Fang's going to be on a generator on the big boat, most likely, trying to finish that. 
Nope, she's doing my undying, which is fine. Yeah, sure. This guy just wasted a ton of time. He doesn't have bounce landing, I don't think, so he, uh, he did get some fast vault somehow. He's gonna come back out to the left now. Yep. These dogs are a real pain in the ass, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, we expected the unhook to, or sorry, the pickup to happen. This is why I started rotating this direction early. Oh, I lost him. I got lost in the sauce. He knows where the ruin is, so something I'm gonna have to keep in mind. Vault it. Pretend I'm breaking it. He's gonna run away. Run to the boat. He all he has is that window up top, and I think I can counterplay that. He's gonna. Th he think I'm following him. Jump down, right? Oh, close. Very, very close there. Oh, he should have gone for the forbidden window. It doesn't matter because I got fucked by auto aim. I'm gonna rotate aggressively around here. Caught him off guard, so now I get the down for free. And you can see this is basically all. I'm fine with that. I'm fine, perfectly fine with. Um... I'm, I'm perfectly fine with him jumping in that locker there because I didn't want to hook him anyway. I'm gonna actually put a trap on him because why not? Might as well, right? Might actually bait out somebody coming for the flash to save as well. No? Alright, I'll make sure to pick up facing the other direction. He's trying to crawl away, there's no way he gets far enough away uh, from this hook, especially when I have agitation. But yeah, you guys can see, this is what Pig's about, for the most part. Going for chases really aggressively over and over again, trying, trying as hard as I can to keep people pressured constantly. Sprint burst away, force out the sprint burst. I'm actually gonna drop chase. I'm gonna pretend I'm dropping chase, so I'm gonna hide behind this log. She's gonna head back to the generator in a second here. Wait till I hear the repair noises. And I can come straight for her again. Did she have sprint wait, did she actually use her sprint burst here? No, okay. So she thought there was a pallet there, I got lucky that there was no pallet. Big boy mind games there. Unfortunately, I don't actually get to punish it. Then I'm not gonna vault, and I vault right here. Wind attack me? Oh no, I thought she would try. She's not gonna fall for it twice in a row, yeah. But it does force out the window. She can't vault this window anymore, and I'm gonna go ahead and vault through here. Just to uh, make it so she can't get to the pallet easily. She's gonna think I'm gonna go for it again, then I'm gonna go ahead and fake over here. Ah, she's just gonna camp with the pallet now. Ooh, very, very nice right there. So I saw her running towards me at the last possible. Oh, my camera just turned to the left because my controller is acting up. God damn it. She's going to stay right here right now. Damn, that was a really good play I made. I saw her uh, running back towards me after, the, um, after I vaulted through. So I went ahead and double vaulted. And I actually threw her off really hard. She didn't expect me to, which is really nice. Okay, I'm just missing swings on uh, not on purpose, uh, for no reason right now. So I th I personally think I won that chase back at the killer shack. Uh, that's the way I'm going to think about it, because, I mean, I, I, I won the mind game there. I just ended up messing up, uh, because I fucking ended up flicking to the left on accident. But really, it should have been a down for me right there. Her trap's active. I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to bother her anymore until, um, until later on. Is that a pebble? Yes, it is. I don't want to go for her, but she just keeps running into me. Didn't I just see the David right here? I want to go for the David. <laughs> really no need. Okay. There's literally no need for me to go for the David here at all. I could have gone for the Fang right there if nothing else got on the hit. So I could trigger borrowed time. But, eh, I'll let her have her fun. Good rotation right there. Let, get, let's me get this hit. Run to the left, right? Yep. So the killer, you really do want to be paying attention for um, for little gaps where you can uh, where you can see the survivors running around. I'm gonna keep giving them chances to go for flashlight saves, dude. If they're not gonna go for them, then I'm not gonna then I'm not gonna worry about them at all. She got a trap off already. All right. Someone's on this generator. They haven't healed, meaning nobody can take a hit. Okay. Nice dead hard. 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? Really? <laughs> One last chance. One last chance to get your flashlight save. Dude, I've literally been facing at them consistently. She's not on the totem, I thought she might be. I gave these guys plenty of chances to flashlight save, but unfortunately they uh, never really went for it. So realistically, agitation didn't really do all that much this game. Iron will remember. I'm gonna be looking for her blood here. I'm just gonna force this pallet down because this is not a mind gameable pallet. Not even with pig dash. This is way too big. The loop. Ooh, greedy. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I think I was, uh. I think my mind games were actually really fucking good at this game. Unfortunately, I had a couple moments where I was just missing swings for no real good reason, honestly. That was a fun game, though. <laughs> But like I said, uh, didn't really get too much juice out of agitation in this game, and that's kind of how agitation is, you know? It's one of those perks where if people are playing kind of dumb, you're not really going to get too much juice out of it. Well, I mean, sometimes you have people just running at you while you have someone on your shoulder. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's a situational perk, and that's something that you just kind of have to deal with when you're playing with some of these sillier perks. But Anyways, let's get on to the next game, where I still haven't decided what we're going to be using. <laughs> I'll see you guys in it, though. And now we got Yamaoka. Hmm. This could be tough. I decided to throw on uh, Brutal Strength. I'm sure you guys saw last game that uh, Pig is very, very chase-heavy. So I decided to just throw on random chase perk. That I thought would be fun. And Brutal Strength is a very uh, underused chase perk. So I guess I just wanted to just throw it on, see uh, see if I could get any use out of it. I do think people uh, draw pallets a little bit more against uh, Pig than most other killers. So she might get more. There's a pallet right there. Thank you. Thank you, and dying for being beautiful. Is that a flashlight what the fuck where did you just go oh there she is that is a flashlight so you saw right there something that's really great about pig how she can bait out um she can bait out flashlight saves by putting traps on people's heads because people think that uh, the animation looks similar for picking up i'm just gonna double check there's someone here okay i can hear you right here you realize <laughs> This is why you need Iron Will. That Fang last game, she was running Iron Will. That's why she was able to hide near uh, when she was injured and try and go for the flashlight save herself. I'm going to pick up the Fang behind me first because... Oh, or I'm not. Well, this will actually... This is actually where agitation would be helpful because I could hook her quicker. And then hook the... <laughs> hook this Fang, but... Or the Nia, I mean. Oh, boy, this is... Uh, I don't think she's going to come back. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this Nia. Really? Did you really try and run back in for the pallet save? If I had agitation, I would want a hundred percent run through that pallet to chase her down. I'll let that fang go. I thought she might be camping the pallet. It's fine. And right there actually is an example of. Damn, that's unlucky. Right there is an example of where I actually like enduring more than uh, brutal strength. So, the thing is, I mean, if you guys have been watching me for a little bit, you'll know that a lot of the times I just leave pallets up uh, to kick later on. And that's where Enduring is really helpful, as opposed to having Brutal Strength, because I could have taken that stun and just kept going immediately and had the option to kick the pallet or, or uh, keep chasing. With Brutal Strength, that, that option is still there, yes. But it's not as um, it's not as as lenient, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's just not as flexible what you can do with it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm already down three of my traps. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. 
Run into the killer shack, okay. Someone just got the trap off their head, or she's trying to. Some, some gamers right now, huh? <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I'm sure you guys noticed, I still haven't uh, ranked up from the last rank reset. So, uh, I'm getting some interesting games, to say the least. I don't hear anyone injured in there, and I don't think that the Claudette at least had iron will. Oh, hello. Got to fight Totem, please. It's not very nice. If I wanted to, I could have crouched up to it, but I didn't think it was worth it because I thought she would run away if I crouched up to it. Vault of Winter for live. Yep. Very predictable. You just got hit through the pallet because you wanted to stun me with it. Okay. That's not how binding works. Dead herd? No, she had lied, remember? What am I swinging at? Who knows? I'm gonna kick this just for the style of points, I guess. <laughs> Let's keep the game going on for a little longer than it needs to, right? <laughs> She's running to an area that has no more pallets. It has one window and that's it. Actually, no, this pallet's still up. Very nice. We get the, the hit and the pallet. Very efficient. Yeah, this girl camping that pallet over there, that's exactly why you don't camp pallets. She used her life to get to the pallet, which was a good thing. And then she wasted the ass end of it to try and let me catch up. So that she could try and go for, um... For, a uh, pallet stun. Which, in that situation, was just not even remotely close to being worth it. She doesn't know about that totem. I'm gonna lose this soon enough. And, which is mine done, unfortunately, but... I'm not really too worried about losing my dying with this team, I'm gonna be honest. If I, Honestly, if these guys win, I I don't even know. There's some fucking god gamers out here. I saw the Claudette ahead of us. Don't worry, she's very stealthy. She's hidden. Look, she's hidden. She walked away from the pallet so that she could be hidden. She walked away from the pallet so she could hide, guys. <laughs> And uh, this goes back to what I always say. This is why I don't like uh, playing stealthy usually as a survivor. Because the thing is, if like if she had at least stealthed and stayed in the pallet, she could have actually made something out of that. She's going to break my totem in a second here. Uh, she could have actually made oh, a play out of that maybe by staying near the pallet, stunning me, and then trying to make distance, I guess. But she ended up... Oh, you healed instead of coming for my totem. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and kick this since I'm here. I don't know where they are. I thought she would come back here for the totem, but I guess I was wrong. Hey, Nia. Oh, that would have been really funny. <laughs> Did she not see the pallet? Where is she? Oh, she's on the right side here. Did, she, did you go back to hide? You ran back over here to hide. <laughs> there goes my second ruin. Where did she run off to this time? Did you do the exact same maneuver? It's all the scratch marks. I don't see her. I hear her. Don't worry, you're very hidden. She's dead on hook, but I really don't think these traps are going to come into play at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and trap her, just so I can get the points for it. I could put her in the basement, but eh, I don't want to be down there. It's grimy down there. It's gross. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this very clearly is a different caliber of survivors compared to last game. Last game, that fang at... Why are you opening a chest right next to me? Ah! 
If I had Enduring right there, I'd hit her, by the way. Instead of, uh, Brutal. I love this arena. She's so cute. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> I almost don't want to kill her. I'm going to give her a hatch. I feel bad. Hey, Fang. You had a window you could have used lives on, but that's okay. We can go to the pallet here instead of we don't get hit. Screw it anyway. Okay. Uh, I'll kill this Claudette. Then I'll go find the Fang, kill her, and give the Serena the hatch. These guys didn't even get their traps off. So, I mean, the Fang did. Well, the knee did as well. Right, right. I forgot to drop the knee is. Let's go figure out where this Fang is. My guess is she's probably back here self carrying based on how this game has gone so far. I'll just keep an eye out. Yep. <laughs> Man, when you know, you know, right? She almost didn't even blind me. That would've been really funny. She's gonna make it back to this arena. You're not even gonna go for this arena. You're gonna try and loot me. Okay. I can appreciate her trying to get experience looping. Now she's gonna lie back to this arena. That's what I would do, at least. This is actually really nice because it'll tell me exactly where Zarina is, so I don't have to go scrounging for her. Oh my god, she just crawled and crawled, didn't she? Alright, I'll just Zarina run around. Maybe uh, let her think that I'm chasing her around a little bit. Although she probably just hit right away, right? I can look for her uh, blood in a second here. Let's go ahead and hook the fangs so we can get her out of the game, let the hatch spawn. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say she's in a locker. The nearest locker to here would be this one. I don't hear her, and I don't think she had Iron Will, so nothing to worry about there. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'll either let her get the hatch or let her get the doors. If I find the hatch, I'm just gonna close it and let her run to the doors. I'll stay crouched so she doesn't hear my terror radius and get scared. <laughs> She's so cute, though. I don't want to kill her. I feel bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's talk about agitation versus no agitation, I guess, while we're here. Um, obviously, the second game was very different from the first one. This, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the first one, how it's not really going to be a great test, really. Like, Ideally, if you really wanted to test the... Uh, a perk out, you would run against the exact same team on the exact same map, and even then it wouldn't be uh, a super accurate test because maps have random amounts of pallets and random places that might loop together into a god loop or might just end up being a really shitty. Dude, I really wanted to close it under her because she was just camping it. <laughs> I would have let her out, anyways, but. Um... But yeah, I don't know, I feel like Agitation is just an underrated perk, yeah, honestly, and that might just be me really falling in love with the perk after using it <laughs> for so much. But I, I definitely think it's a perk that you guys should give a shot. It helps a lot against aggressive teams like that last, like the team from the first game. Unfortunately, I did also just have hooks fucking everywhere on the, on the swamp, so I didn't really get to make too much use out of it. But anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.